Okay, hey everybody, we're up in Wakefield. Um, I am with Lisa Willems. She hey. is the head trail coordinator, Something build like coordinator. Volunteer coordinator. Yeah. There you go, volunteer coordinator for the uh, fantastic mountain bike trails up here in Wakefield. Um, we're gonna do a quick trail preview of a couple trails that are going to be official. Maybe this fall or if not next spring. Okay, cool. And uh, they're Irish whiskey and Irish cream. They're two of my faves. Yeah. Love them. Yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> so here we go. Right. Whoa. Feel it. All right, here we go. So we take the 72. Yeah, this is called the, this is the upper 72. The lower 72 goes that way. You can go that way, but it's a really washed out climb. Cool. That's the bottom of that too. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. That's what the eagle gear is for. <laughs> or in my case, I guess the Shimano, whatever, not nearly as cool sounding 12 speed something or other. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Sweaty rocks. Cool. And the bottom of our system. Okay. Cool beans. So that climb up to 72, we're still on it, but I think it's a little easier now because we, uh, Oh yeah, it's the Midnight Rakers. I don't know. So I need to do a shout out yeah. To that team. Awesome. I've noticed a lot of trails have been raked this year. Yeah, so we, we've done them all. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Why I say is Bailey, so I named it for her. Cool. Yeah, this, this trail is a little near and dear to my heart. Awesome. So many sweat hours into it. It's also the slowest one we have up here, I think. 
Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, it's an honor and, a pl and an honor and a privilege to uh, ride with the trail builder. Wow, wow. It's great to have <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And the many people who ask your help. Oh, yeah. It's the blood, sweat, and tears. Right. It's not, it was definitely not a solo effort. No. Oh yeah, that tree is a bit of a, it's right there. Oh, son of a gun. Keep getting hung up on rocks. Okay. Well, whatever one. That wasn't so bad. It was more so awkward than technical. Yeah, it's just a little bit off, remember? Yeah. Okay, we can go on. Yeah. So the spring, you get a good beam here. Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, I rode these on the fat bike last, yeah. last uh, November, I think. Yeah. There's a little bit of snow. It was really icy. <laughs> I see what you mean by flowy. Yeah, it's, it's great. Okay. The bee's knees, all right. Oh, nice. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Nice. Right on. Oh, that's super cool. You can go straight up that rock or around the Okay. Now, given my luck today, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Oh, this section's great. Yeah. Okay. And there is a beeline for that too, if you're not feeling up to it. Off to the right. Cool. I find the, the quality of the soil up here too is different it's, uh, than what we have in the south end of the park. Yeah, it's drier, but it's also more, it's softer and tackier. I find it's a lot of like crushed stone down there and sand. 
Um, pardon? Lomi, yeah, Lomi. I'd call it Lomi. Using the L word. Oh, right on. Fun stuff. Amazing. Irish whiskey. Goes down smooth. Cool. Longer. Yeah. Windier, right? Yes. Yeah. A little more punchy climbing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A little, a little off camber, a little Rudy. Keeps you on your toes though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. It goes back. Yeah, you, you almost wonder if like you got turned around sometimes. It's a really good. It's a good use of space, I find, to get some good distance. No, this really is has some thought to it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they they like to cheat those dogs. There's the Strava line, there's the Enduro line, and then there's the canine line. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, my dog is sort of uh Lost the joy for riding. Oh, how old? He's only like six. Um, but every time I put my helmet on, he just goes and hides. Oh, really? I used to love it though. It's 
So I don't know what happened there, but he's just lazy. Whenever I go to my um, dresser, yeah. and I pull out my cyclone shorts or whatever, he gets super excited. Oh, nice. Yeah, my guy's weird. He's like, he's an active dog. He's like a Beagle, Jack Russell, Brittany. Like really, really like turbo dog. But very selective as to how he likes to I guess so, yeah. He likes to stop and smell the flowers and roll and poop and all that stuff. You know. What kind of dog do you have? We have Okay. Oh yeah, cool. Likes to run. Nice. <laughs> yeah. My rake. Oh, nice rake. I have a couple rakes stashed here and there. Nice. Punchy. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. So do you sort of bike in, bike out to these? Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. Cool. I have to do about two kilometers of pavement before I get to the trails. So it's always nice to like spin it out a little bit to warm up as opposed to just hitting in the cold. Fine.
I know. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's been a minute since I've ridden it. In optimal conditions, I should say. <clears throat> Riding this on the fat bike with ice and no studs was sketchy, to say the least. I did get studs halfway through the year though, and I will never go back. Oh no, it's all good. Oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah. That's a big rock. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. All right, thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, big thanks to Lisa for showing me around the trails. Um, stay tuned for a uh, preview of uh, Moonshine Bench and Glazer, three new trails also that are open this year in Wakefield. Um, and yeah, hit the like button if you like the video. Throw me a quick subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys out on the trail.